In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your wastegate and um, I'm going to be telling you about uh, the techniques I use um, that make it work and make it work well. So I'm going to take you through the process. This one's already done. So we have the flapper here and we have the, the arm put the wastegate like that so I'm gonna redo this I'm gonna show you how to take the flapper out um, yeah we're gonna go through the porting process so let me mount this up on the vise and I'll be back okay so we've got our exhaust housing in the vise and uh, what we're gonna do is get a grinder with a sanding disc and grind this down um, even if it doesn't sit very high it's still worth grinding down because um, obviously that's why it's welded together and then it'll just punch off so I'm gonna do that cool so we've got this ground down and all you do you get a hammer and you tap it around where it's welded it's a bit, it's a bit hard to do because I'm holding a phone but you can start seeing the lines so you just keep you keep pretty much keep hitting it you just keep alternating the force up and down and stuff like that you move it about and it'll literally just uh, come apart and there we go a little bit of persuasion with the hammer and pops right off. So we've got our flapper here. The camera was the focus. Got that off. Looks nice. Now we've got the actual flapper mechanism, I guess. That just pulls out. If it doesn't pull out, you can um, just just hammer it out with like a flat screwdriver or something like that, just to push it out. It shouldn't really be stuck. It should be free moving. So once we've got it out. That's it, now we have access to the to the wastegate port and now we can start putting that. And then I'm gonna show you um, the bits I use. Um, there's a technique I like to use, but you're gonna see that next. So next step is get any coloring of your choice. I've used uh, like nail varnish, because it sticks well. Um, and we're gonna slide that back in and position it. So we've closed that. So obviously that's touching, that's left a mark. And then we can take that off. And there we go, that's marked it up nicely. So I know where to work. I know I need to put some more paint on to check. So that's the bit I use on my Dremel. It's a carbide burr, um, but it's like a tapered one. So it's actually from big to small. And um, what we want to do is get right up in, in there and work our way out. So we want to taper that hole as it is on the bit pretty much um, but obviously extend it to the uh, the marked area so we've got loads of material that we can take off here um, and then obviously make the hole deeper and actually bigger on the other side and uh, what this is going to do is over the, the tape you can work your way in really nicely so you can actually make it flow a lot more efficient it'll make the wastegate quite a bit louder um, and obviously you're not going to have any more boost creep um, which is the main thing that you from this mod uh, you're gonna have much better boost control as well so I can only recommend doing it if you if you um, can do it or if you want me to do it hit me up I'll do it for you um, it's worth doing so there we go about half an hour I've spent on that um, flapper flapper goes in here we got good coverage it is overlized for a reason um, let me get this flapper out again it is overlized for a reason um, because I pulled it much deeper here and a bit shallower here in the corner just because of the flapper coming down so there's no contact um, and you can really see that this is much much bigger than uh, the standard one in comparison if we have a look here there's the stock so substantial difference that'll definitely help with the boost creep so if you've got any problems that should solve it there you go that's a free tutorial on uh, how to put your wastegate obviously uh, put it back together I'm gonna show you as well. Um, well. That's pretty simple. You need a welder, and um, that's literally it. So <laughs> you weld the thing back on, and that's it. 
got it welded on, and that's it. The flapper works and is connected, and the turbo is ready to use. And you've got your port, and you don't have any more boost creep, so it's a win win. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, that was helpful. Um, I'm sorry I'm alone. I couldn't record all the actual hand hand working and stuff because I got my phone, so I ain't got anywhere to set up my phone to record. But hopefully that helped anyway. I might make a more in-depth video on how I do it, but um, that might come in the future. So we'll see. Anyway, cheers for watching. Um, see you next time.